behind the back. No look passes. Half court trades. There's not much Jesse White hasn't done in a game. In his words, he's living his dream. First time I fell in love with the game of basketball, probably a second grade, when I decided, man, this is what I love to do. Like, couldn't even go to, I went to sleep at night, all I would think about basketball, dream about basketball, wake up, want to play basketball, that's all I wanted to do after second grade. In the meantime, he's become a nightmare to play against. Although if you ask his opponents, the curiosity far outweighs any animosity. He's crazy flashy, crazy, takes crazy shots, makes them. I mean, he's like 11th all time, I think, in Class B scoring of all time, so obviously he gets buckets. Watching on film, you know, the five games they played so far before, he was just like, is that real? You know, and you gotta make sure, you gotta show the guys that, hey, he can do this, he can do that. There's not one thing he's uh, not good at. And so, you know, he brings a bunch to the table and uh, very fun to watch. You know, I told people that were coming, hey, he's gonna be one of the best players you're gonna see uh, in just the way that he moves, the way he does things. and. Uh, he was better than advertised. Sacrifice and hard work won't show up in any box scores, but those are the cornerstones of Jesse's game. And the reason he currently sits at over 2,300 career points, good enough for 11th on North Dakota's all-time scoring list after recently passing former Edinburgh standout and UND Hall of Famer Scott Goldset. As soon as the uh, regular season's done, he's ready to get into the gym and he's just 100% completely committed to skill player development in the offseason. Right, and um, the work that he puts in over the past several years working on skill development, you can see it on the court, right? It's, it's, it's definitely translated. Oh, basketball plays a huge role in my life. Without basketball, sometimes I wonder what, like, where I would be. It, I don't know, it taught me a lot of life lessons. It's like different things within life that got me through. Basketball would always, always take the pain away from me. Every time I went to the gym, heard the ball go through the net, the ball dribble, it just made me happy. And it taught me, taught me how to like keep going and never quit, I think. That mindset has turned him into one of the most prolific players this state has ever seen. Each pass and shot more impressive than the last, making the impossible look nonchalant, despite essentially playing with one and a half hands. So I was born without my fingers. A birth defect led to Jesse not being able to grow a full left hand. He has a thumb, but the rest of his fingers are just nubs. Not the most ideal circumstances for a kid with a dream to play Division One college basketball. Obviously not. Like I'm at a disadvantage because I mean, like obviously if I had a left hand, maybe my hand would be or my handle would be a little bit better. My finisher on the rim, my left hand would be a little bit better. But I don't take no excuses. I just keep playing no matter what. He doesn't make excuses because he knows there are others watching. Perhaps kids that remind Jesse of when he was younger. Obviously, it's a dis disadvantage, but I see it as a blessing from God. Because when I see other little kids who like, there's little kids out there that like have little little hands, no fingers, missing fingers, and people can tell them they can't do something. I want to be that person to show them that they can do it, no matter what nobody else say. They can get through it, no matter what. It don't matter what you have, you can you can do something, whatever you put your mind to. So that's why I always, this is a blessing in disguise for me. And that's at the root of who Jesse White is. The no look passes might catch your eye but it's the way that people look up to him that makes him special. He's really worked hard on his leadership, right? Um, his GPA is over 3.5, so he's a tr great student in the classroom. He prioritizes academics. And I think with his, the way he prioritizes academics and the way he conducts himself both on and off the basketball court, he's a true role model for the younger, for the youth in the community, right? And so in those small towns when you have an athlete or, or just a, a role model, a leader like that, right? No matter kind of what they're field in, what their field is, I, I, I truly believe that the impact is, 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 is it's profound. And so he's, um, um, kids of all ages back in the community, right, they all want to be like Jesse White, right? It's, 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 but again, it's just the way he conducts himself both in and out of the classroom. It's been a big buzz for the last several years, right? But with now with him being a senior and putting in the work and putting in the work, uh, again, both in the classroom and on the basketball court, when you see kind of how special of a player he is, it's, 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 um, it's, it's had a major impact in the community of White Shield. I just love playing for my community. I mean, I could have went to any other school and wanted like, to get uh, noticed, but like, I just wanted to do it in my hometown because I've always had a goal. Up, like, like I said, in the second grade, I set that goal to make, take my team to state, and that's my biggest goal like, that I've always thought about, so that's what I want to do. And the Warriors are following his lead. Since dropping two close games to start the season, 
White Shield has won three of its last five games, with one of those losses coming in a competitive matchup with top-ranked Enderlin. I feel like we're just getting started. Like, there's a lot of bumps in the road, obviously, but if you've seen us from our first game to our past three or four games, you wouldn't even think that that team was this team. Like, we've, we've improved so much over the past five games. Like, we got new guys who are learning our system, and we're not even where we're supposed to be yet, not even close. I feel like we got a lot more to work on, and eventually we'll be where we need to be, and that's state. And you guys will see the best of us at the end of the season.